Hello again, friend. I want to continue our series on 21 benefits of prayer. And I want to talk to you today about how we can increase the power of our prayer with one or more people joining us in that prayer. Um, it's very important, and we need to biblically. I want to show you that even Jesus Himself, that when He went, one of His most uh, horrific times uh, was the time when His death was just about at hand, and it was there that He was about to go into the Garden of Gethsemane. You, you find the story in Luke chapter number 23, and you also find it in Matthew's chapter number 26 uh, in the Synoptic Gospels. And it is there that as He went into the Garden, to pray, he took his disciples with him. And the Bible says that he took with him a little closer from the other disciples, Peter, James, and John. They went with him, and he told them, he says, watch here with me and pray while I go yonder and pray. In other words, he needed that support. And it's always good to have someone that can pray with you in your trying circumstances, and uh, someone to be there with you to help you and to support you and to agree with you in prayer. Uh, Matthews 18, the 18th chapter declares this, that uh, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done of my Father which is in heaven. So therefore you, you can't really be in agreement uh, with someone if, you, if you're saying, well pray for me and pray with me about this. Uh, you know, you have to know what it is that you're praying about. You, you can't just say, let's pray. You, you have to know, you have to come together. Uh, Amos 3.3 3 declares this, Can two walk together except they be agreed? In other words, if you're going to reach the same destination, then you have to, you, you see the thing about it, you may come from different ways. There's more than one way to reach a destination. But, the goal is to reach the same destination. So whatever it is that you're wanting the Lord to do for you in prayer, you need to, to converse with someone that you trust that can pray with you about it and come into agreement and, and, agree, and agree. You can't have a person believing God that he can do it and then another person that you have in agreement with you really don't believe that God can do it. That's not agreement. No, you, you have to get a believer that's going to believe with you and that... Um, believe that God answers prayer just like you believe. And so you come together and you agree in prayer. So it says, if two of you sh shall agree on earth as touching anything. Now that's powerful. He said, anything that they shall ask, it shall be done of my Father which is in heaven. Uh, another occasion we find in Acts chapter number uh, 12 and verse 5, uh, we find that James uh, his head was cut off by Herod. And the Bible says that it pleased Herod. And when Herod saw that it pleased the people, he said, well, we're going to get Peter and do the same thing. But the Bible said prayer was made for Peter without ceasing. And that's amazing. It was an emergency. It was a 911 call. They said, we got to get together. This is not just one person. We've got to all get together. We've got to come together and, and pray about this situation. And the Bible says that when they, they, they gathered themselves together and they prayed without ceasing, an angel let Peter out of jail. And, and Peter thought it was a dream. He thought he was walking out uh, and he thought that, wow, it was a dream. But he came and he knocked on the door where they were assembled and where they were praying. And the Bible said that a damsel by the name of Rhoda came and answered the door, and she didn't even believe it. <laughs> Nobody that was praying really believed that it was the, the answer had come to the door. May I tell you that when you, when you have more than one partner uh, praying with you about a situation or a circumstance, and sometimes the answer can come so fast until you won't even believe that it came that quick, but but it, and that's what happened in Acts chapter number twelve. The answer was knocking on the door. Peter was there knocking. They really didn't believe it. They were still praying. They didn't believe it. And so that's what we need to understand. The importance of, of having more than one partner in praying. Because it intensifies prayer. One can put a thousand to flight. And two can put ten thousand to flight. Thank you.